Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcartistfilm.com and today I'm here with a video for my collab with the two L's video series with Laurel Beards. Laurel and I are both going to use this mood board that I put together as an inspiration for our cards. I'm going to start out with a piece of white Nina cardstock and the Fabulous Flamingo stamp set from Reverse Confetti. I think this stamp set is just simply awesome. So I'm going to mount those stamps on an acrylic block and then I'm going to use the Flamingo ink from Studio Calico. I thought that this ink would be simply perfect for this stamp set since it's called Flamingo. So I'm just stamping those images onto my white cardstock and then I'm going to use the coordinating die cuts uh, from the Fabulous Flamingo stamp set. I'm going to attach that die cut onto my paper using some washi tape and then I can easily run it through my Big Shot machine. So after I die cut those flamingos, I'm going to stamp the beaks of them using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now I'm going to draw a pencil line using my T-square ruler and a pencil. Just doing that because I want the flamingos legs to be on one line. So I just want them to be perfectly straight. So I'm going to grab those stamps and then I'm going to um, stamp these using the same Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is just my favorite black ink because you can also use it for Copic coloring. There we go. And then I'm going to erase that pencil line using an eraser. Okay, so now I'm using this gorgeous sticker sheet and it is from the Serendipity collection from Dear Lizzie. I'm going to use that beautiful um, flower sticker. So I'm going to adhere it in the right corner. So I'm just kind of pressing that down and then I'm going to cut off the edge that is hanging off using my EK Success Color B scissors. I'm going to keep that little piece of the flower so I'm just going to put it back on that sticker sheet and then I can use it for a future project. So I'm using the gold color shine spray from Heidi Swap and I'm going to add some gold uh, splatters. I put the piece of cardstock inside the shoe box so I won't spill any of that uh, color shine or color spray on my desk. And then afterwards I'm just going to um, adhere those flamingos onto my card and I'm using two tiny pieces of foam adhesive because I just want that to be adhered very well. Then I'm going back to the sticker sheet and I'm going to use those gold hearts. You could, uh, you could just stamp some hearts and use some gold, em gold embossing powder. Um, but since I just had the sticker sheet on my desk, I thought I would use these pretty hearts. And they also match the gold color shine perfectly. So I'm just kind of positioning them and then I'm going to stamp some XO's on my card using the Milo's ABC stamp set from Lan Fawn. The mood board had like cookies um, in an XO shape so that kind of insp kind of inspired me um, to stamp those XO's on my card and again I am using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I'm just stamping that three times and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment. This greeting is also from the Fabulous Flamingo stamp set from Reverse Confetti. And it says Happy Bird Day. So I just thought that was kind of funny uh, with the flamingo birds. So I'm also stamping that using again Memento Tuxedo Black ink. There we go. Then I just kind of, I was just kind of figuring out which parent paper to use. And then I just went with this gorgeous yellow striped piece of pattern paper. It is also from the Serendipity collection from Dear Lizzie. And I'm cutting that to the same size as my card. So this also measures uh, four and a quarter of an inch by five and a half. And I'm using my Fisker shortcut to cut that out. Now I'm going to adhere it onto the card using my Tombow Mono adhesive. And then I'm just going to adhere it on there. So now I'm going to be using quite a lot of foam adhesive to adhere that piece onto the card. And I'm especially going to add quite a few of foam squares 
behind the flamingos because these are quite heavy so they need quite a lot of support. So after I peel off the backer sheets I'm just going to adhere it onto my card and I'm also going to be adhering some pretty pink parsh sequins. These are the 4mm sparkling clear and aquamarine sequins. And I'm using glossy accents and my EK Success uh, tweezers to adhere those. So that finishes up the card. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to visit my blog for many more details. Thanks for watching. Bye!